happy Saturday, happy holiday season. I'm wearing my festive wreath earrings and chugging along on my coffee. This morning I woke up and did a tone it up routine for my arms, so I'm feeling that. And in today's vlog, I'm first gonna chat about eye creams and then I'm gonna head over to Sprouts, which has got a new Sprouts in the area. And I'm also gonna try and stop in Big Lots and then I'm gonna open up the K-Beauty advent calendar for you guys to see what goodies I got. All right, eye creams. This is something I get questions about all the time and you know, comments on my Instagram, can I recommend an eye cream? Bottom line, eye cream is completely unnecessary and the moisturizer that you use on your face, you should be able to use it around your eyes. So you don't need a unique moisturizer for the skin around your eyelids. And you know, a lot of manufacturers come up with specific moisturizers for the eyes, eye creams, because their products contain a bunch of fragrance and irritating ingredients that would just be too aggravating on the eyelids. And so, you know, they'll come out with a eye cream and the ingredients in the eye cream are actually pretty good. But in reality, they should have just put those ingredients and made, you know, taken that eye cream and put it in their regular moisturizer, made, made that their regular moisturizer so that people could use it all over the face instead of this nonsense of having something that's, you know, likely to cause irritation for people, AKA heavily scented moisturizer. And then, you know, having to have a separate product that you buy to, to not aggravate your eyelids. It's, it's ridiculous. So bottom line, you don't need a separate moisturizer for your eyelids. I know a lot of people, especially when you get in your, you know, wiser years, you find that the skin around the eyes, you know, wrinkles are more noticeable. Still just using your basic moisturizer to that area is just fine. I mean, eye creams, sometimes they're richer or thicker and people find that their eyelids are more prone to dryness. And so that ri richer, thicker formulation they prefer for the eyelids and, and that's fine. You know, it's not like if you, if you enjoy eye creams, I, that's fine. I can relate to that. I understand, but I, I'm saying like, generally speaking, people don't need to drop everything and go buy an eye cream, which marketing loves to, to make you feel as though you got to drop everything and buy something right away. So you don't need eye creams. The exception I would say, however, is if you are seeking to use active ingredients to the thin skin of the eyelids, in that case, it is actually uh, preferable to choose a cosmetic, a, a cosme you know, an over the counter product that has that active ingredient in an eye cream because a lot of active ingredients actually can be very irritating. For example, retinoids, your retinoid cream, you wouldn't want to put around your eyelids. It can be very irritating, but a lot of people want the benefit of topical vitamin A to the thin skin of the eyelids. So many manufacturers have eye creams that, you know, retinol eye creams, and the retinol is at a lower percentage strength, so it's much gentler and better for the thin skin of the eyelids. So that makes sense. For example, the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Retinol Cream that I recommend for the face, that's an over-the-counter retinol option. I love that product. But Neutrogena also has a eye cream in that line that's also very good, lower percentage strength, so safer to use around the eyelids. So that makes sense. And then sometimes you'll find that there are certain ingredients like caffeine and vitamin K that can help brighten up dark under eye circles. So of course, manufacturers are gonna make an eye cream with those ingredients because you know, you're kind of targeting that area as opposed to putting those ingredients all over your face. I guess that makes sense. I have a video talking about the benefits of topical vitamin K for dark under eye circles. And in that video, I basically recommend a series of eye creams because you really, you know, you're not gonna find a moisturizer with vitamin K. Um, maybe they, they exist, but you, you know, you're pretty much gonna use an eye cream that has that ingredient. So, you know, that makes sense. I mean, it's like, one of those things where you know somebody's gonna find an exception, so I'm trying to think of the exceptions because they'll come back at me and be like, you said eye creams weren't necessary. They're not. <laughs> uh, but these are situations where people are looking for something specific and an eye cream might meet those needs, AKA a retinol for the eyes or something to brighten up dark under eye circles. Fewer products, fewer problems. So introducing an eye cream increases the chances that problems will arise. Yeah, so that's what I can tell you guys about eye creams. They're definitely not necessary and if anything can cause more irritation. <sighs> Update on the High Sierra that I got at Costco last week. OMG, this thing has been a beverage consuming game changer. I drink about three liters of water a day and this holds two. 
and it keeps the water cold all day. So I end up having it in the, you know, about a good amount of it, a good portion of it in the morning. And then I have it, you know, the rest of it in the evening. So I get my water in, but it's actually really easy to swig out of. It doesn't leak. Like I said, it keeps stuff cold and it's easy to, it's easy to lift up. You know, it's not awkward. Highly recommend snagging these if you are a Costco shopper and you see them. This fence clip is also handy. <laughs> um, but to be clear, I drink that much water because I'm pretty active and so it's important for me to replace fluids. But honestly, you know, there's a lot of pressure from people on social media to be chugging all this water and it's really not necessary. Um, you know, a lot of the water that we get from food is more than enough and it counts to your daily water requirement especially if you eat a lot of produce you're getting in a lot of water just by virtue of your food intake all right i'm here in big lots i came in here specifically to look for an inexpensive rolling pin because you guys remember last week in the vlog i shared with you guys i got those um vegan uh gingerbread cookie mixes from amazon and so i, I need a rolling pin Speaking of vegan and baking though, check it out. You can get the Bob's Red Mill egg replacer. I just use flax or chia, but I think this has like kind of a mambo com. Oh, it's got psyllium, tapioca flour, baking soda. Has anyone used this? Like, do you find that it's substantially different from just doing like a chia or flax egg? I'd imagine because it's got baking, baking soda in it, it probably puffs up more. I have some last minute gift sets. Oh, how cool is that? Boozy bears. That's worth getting just for the mold in and of itself and the little pipetter. <laughs> kind of tempted to get this because I have that vegan gelatin mix. I wonder if you can make little gummies. <laughs> These are cute too. These little Christmas tree silicone uh, Bunt cake mixes, cake molds. This is a good deal on nuts. Pumpkin, canned pumpkin. Big Lots has some cute loungewear. Super soft, $15, that's a pretty good price. I'm telling you guys, Big Lots always has some cool Fines. Remember when these were all the rage at the beginning of Q teen? These are cute for a stocking stuffer, these little taco holders. And the top and the cactus bag clips. <laughs> Alright, unfortunately they don't appear to have a rolling pan. I'm starting to think that this uh, gingerbread cookie idea is a is a uh, not going to become a reality. I wonder if I can make it into a loaf, like a cake, like a gingerbread cake. I might try that because I, I like gingerbread cakes, you know, like a little loaf pan version of it. And as pretty as Christmas cookies are and like, I, I don't know, they're kind of a pain to ice and all that. I don't want to go through all that rigmarole. Maybe I'll just bail and do the loaf version. Ooh, what's this over here? Festive drinking straws, stocking ice cubes. Yes, sweet cool. The vision is starting to come full circle, you guys. Why did I need this giant cart? I just set it there. Save up to 50% on health and beauty products. And this is a good one, the Vaseline Lip Therapy. And Aquaphor's uh, SPF Lip Balm is also pretty good. Although it kind of irritates my lips, TBH. What is this all May? Make Mine Dark Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Concealer. I'm not gonna pretend to know what kind of magic that offers. You guys know me, I'm makeup illiterate. But toothpaste, this is a good place to get toothpaste, FYI. VO5, I legit enjoy VO5. Hosk is another shampoo brand I really like. What's this coconut water dealio? Weightless volume shampoo. 
All right, my shampoo collection is a bit out of control, so I should not impulse purchase another one. Hello, hydration. Dead Sea collection. This looks promising. Aragon oil. Hmm. What is Bio Expert? This looks like a dupe for something expensive. This is Pro Series Natural Botanical Oils. Revitalizing control. Three dollars. Ooh, they got can too. I think we chose to come here on a good day. We've kind of hit the jackpot of big lots. It's hit or miss, but when you hit, you hit good. Speaking of hitting jackpot, I'm seeing some very, very high, high profile products here. <laughs> I adore the Banana Boats Simply Protect line. The kids is great. It's mineral, there's definitely a cast, and it is a little sticky. Is this the Copper Tone Defend? Yes! Is this a fragrance free one? Yes! Love this. This is great if you have oily skin. Uh, let's check the expiration date here. Expires 2021. Yeah, I don't know. I would just buy a fresh tube. It's pretty inexpensive at baseline. You can get it at Wally World. I kind of need a new tree bag because I got that mini tree. Should I get this? That doesn't look like a very sturdy one. Although it just sits in a closet all year. So like it's not like it needs to be industrial strength or anything. But you know the bowels, they kind of poke out and they might rip the, rip the bag if it's too cheap. There's a rolling tree bag. Decisions. I don't know that I need to spring for $9 extra just to roll it because the little tree is so... I should be able to lift this body bag up. I am hitting a jackpot here. Big Lots has a nice selection of ice flavors which i'm hooked on and i have not seen this yet the cranberry frost and to cart <laughs> toast bites all right let's check out the new sprouts i'm excited this formerly was a toys r us and i have to say they it, it, from the closing of the toys r us to the opening of this was not that uh long of a wait time so congrats to whoever navigated the bureaucracy that made that happen. Aren't these adorable? The Whoville tree. I love those. They're so cute. I also like these little Euro holiday trees. $6.99. That's not a bad price. Yule log. Reinvent your fire. Lights with one match. Quite the selection of kombuchas. It's been a while since I had kombucha, but this wild tonic blackberry one looks good. Oh, it's got honey in it. Boo. Buy one, get one half off on Cedar's hummus. Ithaca hummus. Lemon beet. That sounds good. I had a beet hummus once before and it was really tasty. I'm not like a huge hummus fan. Like, if I want it, I just make it because it's so easy. Um, buy it that often. What is this? No egg salad. Just like tofu and cool. Got a little this is handy. You have a little quick grab kind of deli foods here. It's by the cedar Cedars brand that I've come out with. I'm glad to see that. And then of course Sprouts has some of their deli stuff here. Oh, I love stuffed grape leaves. Are those plant-based? They look to be. Has anyone had green sliced veggie dogs? Aren't these cute? Little vegan snack packs. It has a little vegan cheese, cranberries, and almonds. That's cool. Brecky overnight oats. Wow, and Cedar Lane also has a ready-made green bean casserole that's vegan. Cedar Lane is coming in for, for the vegan representation on non-hummus items. <laughs> Sprouts has vegan gummy worms too. Whoa, and Cedar Lane has these simply plant-powered frozen meals. Vegan lentil shepherd's pie, enchiladas. Those aren't vegan there, but cool. Are these vegan? Performance Kitchen, yeah. Hawaiian unfried rice, SoCal, 
kale and bean. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm humming to try and drown out the ew, cauliflower rice, everything nice. Oh, Purple Carrot has meals here. I was doing their meal kits for a while and they're really good. Well, hey guys, I'm back from my little outing to Big Lots and Sprouts. It was successful. I didn't get really anything. I don't really need anything as far as groceries, but I did pick up a few items. And then of course I got some stuff at Big Lots. So I'll show you guys what I got. So I snagged the tree storage bag, as I said, for my new small tree. They had gift wrap on sale, 20% off, and I needed some little gift bags. So I got these, I thought they were cute, and it comes with some tissue paper, 10 pack. That was like under $3. And I also got some gift bows. This is why I went in there originally for the rolling pin, and I lucked out. Uh, that was $7.50, which I guess isn't cheap, but I like that it's silicone. I think that'll be good for these. I imagine they're gonna be sticky, that um, dough, the cookie dough. I also got this bag of flour because I need to dust out my surface to roll out the cookie dough and I don't have any basic flour because I don't do that much baking and I pretty much bake with alternative flours most of the time so I snagged that and I also got as you guys saw this cranberry frost flavor of sparkling ice so nice and I got this cute little carnival squash at Sprouts. I thought he was festive. Uh, I'm gonna see what that's like. And I like the GL Hughes as a sugar-free barbecue sauce, but I saw they had this Kinder's brand of zero sugar barbecue sauce, roasted garlic. It's sweetened with uh, monk fruit. Yeah, Lohan fruit extract is the same as monk fruit. And it also has allulose in it, another uh, zero sugar sweetener. I look forward to trying that. Roasted garlic sounds good. And I snagged these uh, naturally colored sugar, uh, decorating sugar for the cookies. <laughs> they are colored with spirulina extract, turmeric, and vegetable juice. I wanted to try the enlightened dairy-free ice creams for a long time and they don't have them at Kroger ever and they had quite a selection there so I figured I would try the chocolate almond and then I saw this rice broccoli you guys know how much I love broccoli and how much I love rice cauliflower so I snagged that as well all right y'all let's do it do it do it I think we left off with we finished day six right yeah what do we have here Looks like a lip tint, moonshot tint fit shine in the shade Moodberry. That looks like a pretty color for the holidays. Ooh, one of my favorite brands, yo. Oh, I've actually used this product before um, to try it out for you guys. And big surprise, I was not really that into it. It's not that it's a bad product. It's their eye cream, their black tea, black tea eye cream. But one cool thing about this particular eye cream is that it does come in this pretty tin. So there's that. There it is. How about I gift this to one of you guys since I have already I already have one that I've opened and used to try out and you know I wasn't such a fan. So how about I gift this to one of you guys? Just comment below if you would like to try this product. Because otherwise, you know, it's not bad. It's actually just fine. It's got ferment extracts in it, which are rich in humectants. It has shea butter. It's actually really nice. Um, and then it's also got beta glucans, wonderful humectants. Day nine looks like. Ooh, is this some peeling foot mask? You guys know. <laughs> yep, it sure is. Uh, I kind of want to try this, you guys. Uh, even though I have a video on not using these, well, I mean, just use the carousel foot ointment. Check out my video on, on these peeling foot masks. But I do kind of want to try this. <laughs> All right, day 10. Dr. Troublous. 
Medicica Calm Medicica Calming Cream. Is this a Centella moisturizer? It looks like it. Cool. Um, it doesn't appear to have, this does not appear to have fragrance in it. On a quick scan, let me double check that. Medicica Calming Cream is the repair moisturizer that calms down sensitive skin rapidly. It contains powerful green Sika complex extracted from main ingredient of Centella Asiatica that helps to calm skin for recovering sensitive skin to healthy condition. Y'all know I always enjoy a good Centella moisturizer. It's like the packaging claims, it is helpful for calming down irritation and redness. Ew. It's like a lightweight gel. This would be nice if you have oily skin, I think. Ew, I like that. Tomorrow I'll open up day 11, 12, and 13 for you guys, um, and we'll see what else we get. So far, you guys, yet again, the YesStyle K-Beauty Advent Calendar has been a win. I've gotten actually a lot of good products in this. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. It's the end of the night and I'm on my iPhone because I got in here with my camera and turned it on and said no card. I left my SD card out in the living room and I'm too cozy to go get it. So, But I'm wearing my new robe that I got in my FabFitFun box and it has the hood. It's so soft. I love it. I told you guys I was going to be living in it in all my vlogs, but I mostly actually wear it to bed. I sleep in it, which I told you guys is some odd little comfort. I rather enjoy sleeping in robes. I don't really wear robes other like around when I'm standing up out of bed. I pretty much just wear them in bed. Um, I don't know. It's just so soft and cozy. I don't. I can't remember what this brand was, but yeah. It's really nice. I'm gonna read my book for a while, but anyways, guys, I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. If you made it this far in the vlog, I greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.